Right, so welcome to Istanbul. We're in the W Hotel, super nice. I'm here for the conference. Still with my mom. Um, right, I've been to Istanbul a few times before actually. I was here for my 30th birthday. Could have been a different experience with my mom for a few days though, less alcohol I'm sure. Uh, but we're gonna go and check out the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia, if I'm pronouncing that right, no idea. Um, it's about five or six kilometers, so we're gonna walk a couple of kilometers, it's a really beautiful day. And uh, then jump in a cab and you'll get to see the sights from the other side. All right. All right guys, so we jumped on the tram here in Istanbul. We're heading down to the Blue Mosque. Actually, we have no idea how the public transport works, but a tram just pulled up, so we bought a ticket. I think it was a child's ticket, it was in Turkish, so no idea. I were on it anyway. It's kind of nice, you know, like taxis are super cheap in Istanbul, but um, it's cool to take the public transport. You can see a bit more of the city as well, rather than sitting in taxis. So. And after six months in West Africa, living in shared taxis, it's nice to actually be on some proper transport again. Anyway, we'll be at the Blue Mosque in sort of 15, 20 minutes and show you then. Oh God, I love traveling. So the Blue Mosque actually is closed for prayer time. So we've come over to the Hag Hagia Sophia, or Hagia Sophia in Turkish. It's super beautiful. If this doesn't make you want to travel, <laughs> you can probably see that behind me. Get run over right in front of this gorgeous place. Check it out. Seven wonders of the world. Absolutely spectacular. And then, unfortunately the sun's looking the wrong way, but if you just check out the Blue Mosque here as well, it's pretty bloody nice too. Right, I'm just waiting for my mum. Problem with travelling with older people, or parents, I'm sure you all agree. I must have to make 10,000 stops to the bloody toilet every day, so I'm left talking to myself on a selfie stick like a weirdo in front of everyone. Anyway, kills the time, doesn't it, right? We're gonna go and pay uh, into the Hagia Sophia, it's a museum now, see what it has to offer, and then we'll finish for prayer time, head into the Blue Mosque. So gorgeous around here, guys, you've gotta get over there. Mum, what do you think about the view? I'm lost for words, absolutely lost for words. It is just out of this world. Super beautiful here, guys. Really, I keep taking videos because I don't think I've ever eaten or drank in a restaurant or bar with a view like this before. Asia, Bosphorus, Hagia, uh, Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque. Unbelievable. Four quid a pint as well, can't complain. Inside the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, absolutely beautiful. You see it, the ceiling, all the tiles and stuff, super gorgeous. You can see I've lost my scarf because my mum's had to wear it as her headscarf. Anyway, so nice here. Check it out. territory here on a boat uh, up and down the Bosphorus the Asian the Asian continent on one side and the uh, European continent on the other pretty cool actually the weather's super nice we avoided all the tourist trap down at the down near um, the Hagia Sophia when we came here it's only five bucks a ticket it takes an hour and 45 minutes really beautiful coffee shop and stuff downstairs so I'll show you the views um, once we get going all right Çalışan dört adet saat bulunmaktadır. Tutkapı Sarayı'ndan sonra Osmanlı İmparatorluğu'nun uzun yıllar payitaht olarak kullandığı Dolmabahçe Sarayı, torumuzun ilk göze çarpan güzel eseri Sultan Abdülmecit'in annesi Bezmi Alem Valide Sultan adına Dolmabahçe Sarayı, Osmanlı Devleti'nin en üst düzeyde temsil edildiği yapılar olan sarayların muhteşem bir örneğidir. Sarayın girişindeki dört katlı 27 metre yüksekliğindeki saat kulesinin her yüzünde Bugün bile ayarı bozulmadan çalışan 4 adet saat bulunmaktadır. Tutkapı Sarayı'ndan sonra Osmanlı İmparatorluğu'nun uzun yıllar payitaht olarak kullandığı evet, Dolmabahçe Sarayı, Boğaz Gezimiz sırasında birçok sayıdaki eserlerini göreceğimiz saray mimarları Balyan ailesinden Garabet Balyan tarafından 1855 yılında tamamlanmıştır. Sarayın 285 odası, 44 salonu, being the worst Irish person in the world. I can't handle the cold at all. Anyway, still on the boat, absolutely beautiful, but the temperature's dropped.
drop when it's the sun setting. But seriously, this is like a, one of those proper travel experiences where you think, "Wow, this is the life." So, like I said earlier, there's two bridges, two bridges just connecting both continents, Asia and uh, and Europe, and Istanbul on both sides, and the sun setting, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I'm just delighted I can show my mum this sort of stuff. Just a brilliant, brilliant experience. Check it out.